Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Got this one here. Uh, we just went for a walk, actually. It's 8.30. Tuesday mornings, Ben trains his mom. Don't mind my huge bruise from the hospital. What's funny is they put the IV in this side and it didn't really bruise. This was just blood work at the hospital and it did bruise. Anyway, hi. <clears throat> so Ivy and I went for a walk. I'm feeling <clears throat> stuffed up. There's like major tree pollen going on. But I'm gonna make us some food, probably the same thing we have all the time, like a smoothie and some hash browns, maybe an egg for Ivy. I'm not sure, I might take a break for eggs for her, we'll see. We'll see. Ben should be done with his call here like any minute. Today is a regular mom day. Yesterday, Elizabeth came, oh, you okay? You okay? Yeah, you scared yourself. Did he scare you? It's okay, he didn't mean to, he was just afraid. Yeah. Yeah, he was a little afraid. So yesterday, I, yeah. Yesterday, I tried to get some work done, um, but I had a pelvic floor therapy appointment, which actually went really well, um, but that took like, you know, like an hour, 20 minutes, and I just didn't have like much time after that to get much work in. So, I got in like 10,000 steps yesterday though, because I was walking, because it was beautiful outside, and then today, we went to, or not today, sorry, my brain is all over the place. Today is just a chill day. I had thought about going to Target, but I don't know, maybe we will. I don't really need to go to Target. Ivy needs a couple of like warm weather sleepers. But I thought I'd take you through the day today. Maybe tomorrow we'll see how it's going. Do you, you want some food? I'm just gonna put away thousands of dishes. Ready? Hi. 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 Do you like your outfit today? I'm not sure how long this skirt will stay on. She has like the smallest little body. You leave that on? Cute. Kay. Cute. Bye doggy. He's right there. Beautiful. Watch out. Yep, there you go. Anyways, back in the same spot. You're stacked on top of a candle and some olives. So, just making myself typical coffee not sure what's going on with my face i'm cut off i'm not gonna lie you guys i have not been using my keurig so i need to get better at that i just have to figure out how to make like exactly what i want in a coffee which i think is why i just need to like experiment a little bit <laughs> weak cold brew with this stuff which I also need to chill on this stuff however I've only been drinking sorry, cut off, only been drinking one cup a day lately so I don't feel as bad about having a lot of creamer also tried out hungry root um, got our first box last night it's actually kind of an interesting concept it's like they send you like groceries to make certain bowls and things and if you don't have like if you have certain pieces of it you can like say i don't need beyond burgers or i don't need chicken because i already have it and, but they'll send you other stuff i'm still trying to figure it out so i don't know how to like i don't know how to like explain it exactly yeah i saw it on another influencer's youtube channel and it looked interesting but yeah so this this is what it looks like I don't know. Have any of you guys tried Hunger Root before and do you like it? I will be honest, we're doing the vegan plan. I'm sure it's like much different than like the meat based plans. We had our first little meal last night. It was pretty good. 
very simple, which I like. Ben prefers to eat mostly organic produce. So the produce is organic. Okay, I can pretty much guarantee you as soon as I start talking, Ben's gonna come downstairs. He just, he just does that. This camera looks a very strange. I have it on my tall tripod and I feel like this tripod isn't even tall enough. So I'm like, am I missing something? But I'm making myself a bowl. You can probably hear the air fryer going in the background. I just got Ivy down for a nap. We also got another Thrive Market box, so I'm gonna show you guys that. But I was gonna make a hungry root, but it's two servings, and it looks like Ben already started himself something else. So tomato, rice, zucchini, um, hemp seeds, some cabbage. Okay, here's my lunch. I made it like much prettier yesterday so if i can like get a picture of it i'll show you told you he's coming electrolytes for me these are for me hand soap for the blue end stuff we got there are refills so he got olives even though we have broken olives here okay well i have to go get some actual stuff done Hopefully she sleeps. She took a while to go down, so we'll see how she does. Okay, trying to utilize this tripod, so hopefully you guys can even hear me. You what? You want more? So Ivy actually slept for three hours, which is great. Probably not great for later when she needs to go to sleep, but great for me because Finn went up. I was able to get, sorry, this squeaky chair. I was able to get all of my research done for my blogs, which actually took a while today, and I wrote one of them. I got quite a bit done, plus I ate, you guys saw that. So yeah, she woke up at three, and she's just like really struggled lately with, which is similar to like me, and I feel like a lot of people, she just needs like some time to wake up when she wakes up in the morning and in the afternoon, and she just doesn't like to eat right away. So if you try to make her eat right away, she doesn't eat very well. So we took a little like one mile, literally one mile walk around the neighborhood. Then came here and we've been eating. Right, she had some cottage cheese, some banana. You want some more puffs? Oh. Also snacking a little bit on these licorice, which are very addicting and I almost always eat the whole bag in a day. I just did a little bit of a kitchen like quick refresh while she was eating. Did the dishes and like wiped up the counters a little bit from lunch and breakfast and this morning. The rest of the afternoon, we're probably just gonna hang out upstairs. We are supposed to get storms. I'm not a storm girly. You guys know that if you've watched me for a while. Sorry, I'm chewing this licorice. <laughs> anyway, storms have made me anxious since I was little, especially when they mention the T word as in the tornado word, I get anxious currently there's no watches or anything knock on wood finn also isn't good with thunder so i might preemptively give him some cbd what do you want banana okay, okay. banana 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 <laughs> don't mind the air conditioning in the background but Ending off the night with a clean space and uh, my shadow. Wait, catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, day two. It is Wednesday. We ended up not having bad storms last night, which was nice, but it's super windy today. So it's 8.42. We went for a walk this morning. Ivy's just eating some eggs and hash browns she had. A full smoothie um, I'm also having a smoothie and a little bit of hash browns with some hot sauce hi, hi. No, baby. Mm -hmm. baby Ivy but I have Pilates at I think 930 yeah 930 so once Ben's mom gets here 
I will leave and then go to that and then I'm gonna work at a coffee shop for a few hours. There is a coffee shop over by the Pilates studio that I might try just for something different. Um, I guess it just depends like if they're super busy or anything like that because I got a lot of work to do today at Burris. Wow, the wind is winding today. It just like smacked my door into me. Thankfully I was partially in the car. But I'm leaving the coffee shop. It's 12.15. Uh, quite honestly, I'm starving. I still have one blog to write. So my mother-in-law should be able to stay until like two-ish. So I should have time to go home and eat and finish that blog. But I'm gonna head that way get to it but Pilates was good it was hard today the instructor was very interesting she was one of those people that was like breathe into it this way and I was like okay it was a very hard class I really liked this coffee shop honestly I'll probably come back for sure especially the days that I do Pilates because it's in the same like shopping center but yeah it's gonna take about 10 minutes to get home so let's go all right it is now 2.30, Ivarusk is up. This is. The lighting, just not it. Not in your mouth, please. Thank you. Thank you. Not in your mouth, I'm all done. Mama. Mama, do you wanna help Mama make an avocado toast? Here's the avocado. <laughs> we'll do some of that. Hemp seeds. We had a hungry root thing for lunch of pasta with um, portobello mushrooms and this sauce is really good. We still have the sauce and the pasta left, so we'll definitely have some more of this. Also this from Hungry Root is super good. Almond chickpea cookie dough. Yeah, you can put it, make it into cookies or you can just eat it because it's vegan, so no egg. Obviously for me, but in general, no egg means you're not going to get salmonella. <laughs> but I'm going to make this. I've made it before on my channel, but they're just like little avocado rice cake things. I use these. I like them because they're like thin. I'm like not, I've just never been like a rice cake thoroughly, like the really thick ones. I feel like using this versus like a toast. Especially, I have yet to find like an easy to find gluten-free bread that is also egg-free. That seems to be my issue. If I do find one, it's not egg-free. No, no, no. Do you want some food? She woke up a little cranky from her nap because it's super windy today. It was an accident either way, but Whoa. when her Hello. grandma Hello. left, the door slammed shut and it like scared her awake, which it was almost time for her to wake up anyway, but she was like, what do you mean? You can't come on the counter, baby. Anyway, this avocado is weird. It's like yellow. So while she was here, I got the rest of my work done. I scheduled an eye doctor appointment. <laughs> because I'm almost out of contacts. Anyway, I always try to like film with you guys when I'm doing other things and it's not always easy. This avocado doesn't look spectacular. It's like yellowy. I'm gonna put the tiniest bit, in fact, I'm gonna use a spoon so that I don't accidentally put too much on here. More just because it's like spicy and I just want like a taste of spice, you know? Let me take the doggy toy. Did you ask him if you could take it? Or did you just steal it? And then a little bit of hemp seeds. They're good for you and they're super easy to put on like literally everything. I don't use enough that I get much from it. But So I will say I've been eating like mostly plant-based the last week. My gut is like, Girl, what you doing? <laughs> it's like, mm, I'm not sure about this. It's not even like 
a plant-based thing, honestly. It's just like adding more vegetables to my diet. Here's my little snack. I'll probably have a piece of chocolate too or some of the chickpea cookie dough. But yeah, anyway. So normally I would like to like get her moving around first before trying to eat because I don't know that she's even gonna eat very well. What are you doing? Hi, doggo. Can you get out of the bathroom? Ives. Ivy. Okay, well, Ivy's new favorite fruit is kiwi. She's so funny when she like bites into it, she's like, mmm. <laughs> she like loves it. She's a little bit angry because I wouldn't let her play with the uh, toilet bowl cleaner. Like the little, I don't know, swishy thing. She's like obsessed with those and wants to pick them up all the time. And I'm like, yo, that's gross. <laughs> um, I need to fold the laundry because today was laundry day. I do laundry every other day just because it like helps me stay ahead of any issues. Tofu veggie rolls tonight, I think. We've been saying we're gonna make them like every day and we have not made them yet. So I'm hoping that that's what we eat tonight. Um, or I guess we might have chickpea curry. I have to make a grocery list for tomorrow. How are you guys? How's your week been so far? Ivy is still eating dairy and stuff just because I'm not interested in creating an intolerance that doesn't need to be there, you know? yet but i do buy very high quality dairy just because ben has an allergy to it i have an intolerance to it his mom has an allergy to it so it's just we know that dairy and our genes don't go together like this giving her she really only gets cottage cheese and whole milk and they're both very high quality dairy but that's just for us personally based on <laughs> how dairy has affected us in the past. I might take you through a grocery haul tomorrow. It honestly just depends what this is looking like, how long it is already. I'll at least show you guys what we got from the grocery store tomorrow too. We decided on the typical Wednesday meal of curry with chickpeas, peas, and some reheated rice. This one is running around with a volleyball. But yeah, I have a call at six. Just like the street lights lit this time, like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down. Can't be afraid to leave this out. We got this far, don't know how. Okay friends, it's now 7.44. You guys saw that I just cleaned up the kitchen really quick. I am thinking of making like a new little clean with me type thing. Basically, I think I'm gonna try to start taking some stuff off of Ben's plate. One, there's two reasons. One, because I'm trying to be nice because he works a full-time job and I don't. And there are certain things that I could be doing that would be helpful for him. The other side of that, is selfish which is i haven't been super 100 percent happy with everything that he's cleaned so i just prefer things cleaned a little bit deeper um especially like bathrooms and stuff he does a really good job but he just like doesn't do it the way that i want it to be done and i'm really really picky about it and he really is doing a good job so if I'm gonna be that picky about it, then I'm gonna start doing it. So I don't think I'm gonna like take everything like forever all the time, but I think right now 
I have the capacity to we have a fairly small house so I'm thinking we have three levels but I'm thinking um, like taking a level a day that I'm not working so Mondays I do work in the afternoon so I'm thinking like Monday Tuesday I'll take the top level which is the bedrooms I won't be doing his office because he'll be working he can do that himself but like cleaning her room cleaning the upstairs bathroom cleaning our room that could just be vacuuming if Ben didn't get to it over the weekend that could be dusting because I really struggle with being allergic to dust so I need things to be dusted with more frequency than we're currently doing just things like that I haven't been loving how the bathroom upstairs looks so I think I'm just gonna start doing that mm -hmm. and then i'm thinking thursdays i'll either do the i'll probably do the middle level just because thursdays i also do groceries so that's it doesn't sound like a lot but it's like a lot with a toddler <laughs> um because all of this will have to be done with her because on her i almost said her lunch break on her nap i work like i do work so i can't really use her nap time to clean so it'll have to be stuff that i can do like when she's around me or I can like put her somewhere <laughs> where you know she's not in my way so I'm thinking Thursdays we'll go grocery shopping and I will clean that mid level which is very small it's just the living room I already like pick up once or twice a day of with her, with her toys so it'll mostly just be dusting cleaning the windows maybe running like a mop through it um, I need to get a new mop so if any of you know of anything Ben has a specific mop that he likes but I don't like it so I think I want to buy a new one and then Fridays I'll do this level so I clean the kitchen multiple times a day but that could be cleaning the stovetop range the microwave out the fronts of the cabinets the front of the refrigerator we have a small bathroom down here that gets really dirty it gets really dusty down here um, for some reason so like dusting running a mop through again if Ben will continue doing the mopping in general but I think we could be doing it more because we just we have we have a dirty air house there's a lot of dust and dog dander and stuff and then just like picking up and stuff so that's like my thoughts let me know if you guys have any better thoughts maybe I'll try to like do a video next week of like my new cleaning schedule I don't know how many of you are interested in that type of content so it'll be like a vlog too but I'll kind of show you what I'm planning to do um, and he can take care of the outside I am not ever taking care of the outside because that's just like not what I care about that's what I think I'm gonna do but I'm not gonna tell him yet because um, then I'm stuck to it, you know, and he doesn't watch these vlogs. You should be watching my vlogs You would know what the heck I'm talking about But yeah, so that's like the plan with that. But anyway I'm gonna go watch some YouTube when Ben is done putting Ivy down We are going to finish our grocery list and look at our hungry root account and look at our budget because I need to film a budget video That'll be something that we're gonna do and then I'll show you guys our grocery haul So if you stay till the end you get to see the grocery haul, which will be coming up next Hello Hi, Hi. We yeah, cheese. You want to help mama with the grocery haul? I kind of have the Trader Joe's and Whole Foods stuff split up. We also got stuff from Hungry Root, but we won't get that till Monday. So, spent a lot on groceries, but we haven't been eating out as much. So, and you guys know, we just spend a lot on groceries. It's just what we do. So, got some ice cream for Ben, fake cheese, milk for Ivy, oat milk for Ivy and I. There's some... Fake, uh, vegan sour cream her, yeah these are her yogurts got another Justin's to have on hand some eggs for Ben and Ivy I, I get this every now and then just for my coffee um, I got her a lactose free cottage cheese well it doesn't matter you can kind of tell like those pad thai noodles are from Whole Foods I got her a bunch of baby food from Whole Foods Indian sauce and some tomatoes to make salsa, cumin, that's all from Whole Foods. Is that it from there? I think so. No, no. I'm like trying to get it so she doesn't, she like dropped blueberries all over the floor last week. So anyway, hash browns. This falafel is really good for any of you that like falafel. Um, there is not gluten in it, but it doesn't say it's gluten free, so I probably should pay more attention to that, but I don't think there's anything in it with gluten. 
you hold that? Will you hold those for Mama? Look at Finn. What's he doing? <laughs> Frozen corn, jasmine rice. We always like to have that on hand. I got two kinds of salsa just to have. We haven't had salsa in the house for a really long time, so wanted to get that um, in case the salsa I make isn't good. <laughs> Vegetable broth, I showed you those already. Cilantro for the salsa, some spinach, a lime, garlic, cucumber, kiwi, jalapeno, sweet potatoes, those are two yellow onions, some avocados, bell pepper, two kinds of mushrooms, tomatoes, a couple things of fruit. To be honest, their fruit didn't look great this time, so two things of bananas because I need to freeze some of these and some lettuce. And then I also got these really pretty purple tulips. That is our grocery haul for the week, plus what we get from Hungry Root on Monday, and then we have, you know, a fairly full pantry <laughs> up there. And then, to be honest, there's quite a bit of stuff in the fridge, too. Some of it needs to be cleaned out, so I'll probably do that. But that's our groceries for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this couple days in my life. I am planning to film this weekend. Make sure you watch out for that. That'll probably be the next video. I'll also have a budget video coming up here soon. But yeah, the this weekend we have our like date day of the month. We're gonna do a little bit early because Ben's sister is actually going to Italy at the end of the month for her birthday. We won't be able to do it then, so we're doing it this weekend. I have Pilates. I think we're going to the library. Should be a pretty crazy weekend, but I'm pretty sure she pooped, so I need to go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Hope you've been enjoying more vlogs, but I will see you in the next video.